here's another video uh, of course there was another question I think this video will help the question was basically will the interior walls be bearing if you use ceiling joists to flatten a cathedral ceiling and basically they will be if the ceiling joists are undersized for example if you it requires a 2 by 10 for a span of 20 feet and you're going to use 2 by 8 for your ceiling joists and for a 20 foot span then realistically you're going to need a wall in the middle to distribute the load um, of the ceiling so let's try this again if you have a 20 foot span in between walls and you are going to use 2 by 6 ceiling joist for example where let's just say a 2 by 6 probably spans comfortably 12 feet and again I'm just making an assumption here but you're going to span it 20 foot then realistically you would need a wall in there somewhere so that the span wouldn't be more than 12 feet now the minute you do that it will become a load-bearing wall and require structural support or a concrete footing or a beam something underneath the wall to transfer the load this wall just cannot sit on the floor or on the concrete slab that's only four to six inches thick it will need structural support underneath the wall once the wall becomes load-bearing which it would be if you were going to use smaller ceiling joists then um, you will need structural support underneath it however you can go with larger ceiling joists for example let's just say that you have a 20 foot span and the structural engineer says that for 20 foot you need uh, to carry a ceiling load you need to use 2 by 10 then you you would be fine you put the 2 by 10 in and you're good you will not need a wall in the center to transfer the weight remember a ceiling joist that is structural is going to be carrying some weight the weight of the ceiling lights stuff like that will need to transfer to a bearing wall and the bearing wall could be an exterior wall or it could be an interior wall but uh, it cannot you know you just can't go ahead and put walls in wherever you feel like it on a concrete slab or a wood floor and expect everything to work out okay and I'm not saying it won't trust me I've seen some pretty wacky stuff that lasts for years that structural engineers would uh, would lose a lot of sleep over but I have I've seen a lot of things so if you're going to use a certain sized wood uh, wood ceiling joist and uh, you're fine with that then knock yourself out you know it's your your project your building uh, however it wouldn't be a recommended construction practice